Hello folks, Scott Grove of GroovyMusicLessons.com here just to do a simple request today. A little amplifier shootout just between two amplifiers. This one here is the Fender Concert Amplifier. Okay, this is from 1983. And all tube. Okay, so you've got actually, what is it, four, five, six, six nine tubes in that sucker. Okay, so 100% tube. I'm going to run this amp on clean. And this is versus, that's right, the Walmart first act bass amplifier. <laughs> totally solid state, of course. Um, this one here uh, was designed by Paul Rivera. Um, eBay asking price for this one which has the optional Electro Voice EVML12 known as the perfect guitar speaker would go for about twelve thirteen hundred dollars on eBay everything's been retubed and recapped and all perfectly ready to roll I set both amps to try to sound as good as humanly possible there's no effects between either one so again, we're just going straight through here. I've got the bass on. This here's the controls here for channel one. Just the volume, treble, which is on three and a half. Bass is on 10. And the open back is against the wall just to try to get some more bass out of this thing. And then there's a presence knob right over here, which is set at almost seven, which is a little higher than treble. Okay, so that's all that affects it. No reverb know anything here's the first act bass amp you've got your volume what you got your presence here which is set on 10 treble set on 10 mid-range on 9 bass on 10 okay and what also I'm doing as you can see on the fender amp I'm running a nice high quality cord into it into the first act amp from Walmart. And that's right, the El Cheapo freebies that you know break on you within 10 minutes of buying them. So I'm using what would come with it. Okay? So I'm just gonna play the two amps together with two different guitars and just kind of let you figure out what's what. I'm just using the Morley A B box so I can switch amps, just click one and click, you know, so it goes from one amp to the other. Um, going to the Fender amp, high quality cord, and here's the high quality cord with my guitar going into it, and then the El Cheapo <laughs> going over to the Walmart amp. So I'm using high quality stuff for the Fender amp, Fender tube amp, so for the twelve, thirteen hundred dollar amp, and for the Walmart amplifier, I'm using Walmart guitar guitar chords you know it's only fair so we'll just give them a quick shootout and see if there's actually twelve thirteen hundred dollars difference because nobody in the right mind why is my camera just sitting all kinds of sideways Ugh. okay maybe that'll help I know that zooming in on me is not going to help any of you any so you're going to use two two pickup guitars today one being just the uh, custom shop Merle Haggard Telecaster and then I'm going to use my 1976 Gibson Explorer. Okay, both stock. Both will be wide open on tone and volume. Okay, so just a clean sound. I'm not going to try to overdrive either one of them. Um, so you can hear me switching from one amp to another. I'm not going to tell you which one's which. Okay, so it's always going to be the same thing. I'm going to have, I'll just call it Amp 1 and Amp 2. Okay, so let's get down here to just the guitar so you can see that I'm not doing any trickery. And again, there's no pedals. There's simply that AB box, which allows me to switch between the two amplifiers instantly. Okay, so all I do is have the guitar set, like I said, best tone I could get through them between both amps and the same volume for the most part. So, 
I'm going to go to the bridge position here on the telly. Amp number one. <laughs> guitar and we'll hook up the 1976 Gibson Explorer with the exact same settings not changing anything and this here is not to prove anything somebody just asked if I would do this so I'm doing this and it has no meaning other than what meaning you give it okay <laughs> like I said it's just a Walmart amp versus a high-end tube amp. Okay, so let me switch something. Okay, here's the bridge pickup on amp one. being here I'm going straight to the neck position I'm sorry bridge position and just gonna lay into the guitar now see if we can get some natural overdrive or not so just do this the one time amp one <laughs> up at all so that is what it is and um, only thing left to do now is to simply tell you which was which which if you actually looked at the a B box you could probably tell before I even started and there we go guitars are all snuggled back in their cribs <laughs> okay so of course anybody that wants to know Amp number one, you can probably tell by just listening to the location of the amp if you're using stereo headphones. But amp number one was the Walmart amplifier. Amp number two was the Fender tube amp. Okay, so whatever that means, <laughs> if anything, um, somebody just asked me to compare the two. And number one, I can tell you this, shut this noise off. And shut this noise off. 
<sighs> Everything just hiss, hiss, hiss. Okay, so once again, Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com. Uh, come by for all kinds of comparisons and shootouts and free lessons and all that kind of stuff and learn cool things about guitars and amplifiers and how to conduct practices, rehearsals, how to bake a cake, whatever. And again, this one is not out here to prove anything on this video. It was just simply asked that I do an A-B comparison to those two amps. <laughs> okay, so there's those two amps set clean and I did what I did with two guitars. So learn from that what you will. Like I said, I have nothing to interject. So um, <laughs> you heard a you heard, heard a five amp, high end Fender amp and you heard a, a Walmart amp that you can't give away um, side by side and set with the best tones that I could get out of both. Okay, and the Fender amp was a little louder, just happened to be, so I'm not redoing the video, there's no use in it. <laughs> so, take with it what you will. Be free, scurry along, see you later.